Hello and welcome. We're gonna make a steel deck beam uh, family so we can use it in uh, structural, structural framing or use it as a separate beam. Um, it's not that hard. Uh, I will go through all the steps uh, that you need to do to accomplish a, a nice steel deck framing or beam. So first things first, you open a rivet of course. And now the next thing that you are going to do is go to this site right here. We have here Yoris Ide. It's uh, a quite known uh, company for its industrial uh, materials. So you hear on you search for steel deck and then you can choose which steel deck you want. And I choose for this one. And we will make the steel deck of course. And how do you get the PDFs and uh, AutoCAD files? Very simple, you click here on downloads and then you just download the zip file and you have both of them. So that's what you're gonna do uh, first. Now, the next step is going to Rivet, of course, and we go uh, to select a new file and here, family. Then we're gonna search for metric profile right here metric profile you open it and voila there we have it a blanco scene uh, right to get a profile in it so first things first um, we downloaded the autocad file so it will be uh, handy to insert it and draw the exact profile from the material so how do we do that? Very simple. You go to the insert tab right here. Then you're gonna import a CAD file. Then right here we have our CAD file. Just select current view only. And now you just click on open. Ignore that, just close it. And we have nothing. Yay, well, no problem uh, to find the AutoCAD file that you imported, you just click twice on your middle mouse button and voila, it appears right here. Now, uh, don't forget to unpin it so we can actually move it. If it's still pin it, it will not move at all. So we're gonna send it to the center, then lift it up, of course, and voila. So the next thing that we're going to do is actually draw the profile. Now, how do we do that? We go to the create tab, then right here, line. And now we're gonna, excuse me, oh my God. Uh -huh. We're gonna draw the line. Oh, it's been a heavy day. We're gonna draw the line and we don't gonna do it like this because this will take a while. Now, how do we do that? Very simple, because it's AutoCAD format you can actually snap uh, on the AutoCAD. So that's why we need the file. So we go again to the Create tab and instead of drawing the lines, we're gonna, of course, pick, <clears throat> pick the lines. Now, so before we start, uh, as you can see, if you hover over it, you can uh, pick the lines and that's what we are going to do. And I see I'm not exactly on the top, but I will do that later on. So let's start and pick every line that we need. And that's how you quite do it. And voila guys, we picked our lines or every line that we want. Now you guys are asking why uh, only one profile? Well, you will see uh, in a couple of minutes why, because sometimes it's uh, easier to have one profile than three. And um, we will make the family if you can choose if you want three or one profile. So the next thing that we're going to do to see if we have every line, oh, just pick the line. Uh, we're gonna move it upwards, like maybe 600, and remember that. And that's the 
profile that you want and we didn't yeah we got all the lines and now we're gonna close it oh now we're gonna close it right here all right and there we go and now we're gonna move it upwards so it's in the right place now that's how you do it guys that's the first step to make a simple profile and now we're going to go to the next step well we go to the file again go to new then family and now we're gonna look for oh, for structural framing beams and braces open and there we have it now first i'm gonna go to the tile view move this a bit right here and gonna make this so you see it guys now the next thing that we are going to do first is load this profile right here in this family because as you see here nothing is loaded in so we're gonna load this uh, profile first we're gonna load it in and now right here we see profiles and now here we have our steel deck why why did we do that very simple because we're gonna create a sweep and if you sketch this and you have if you want to make a profile we can select the profile that we made right here and this will make the sweep so yes so how do we start well we go to the create tab right here we got to select sweep a solid sweep then we're gonna pick the pad because why you're gonna pick the pad because you're gonna pick this model line so pick pad, pad and now we see the model line that we want and that's how we want it we're going to 3d to see how it looks and this is how it looks this is the line that you picked we click ok and now right here you're gonna select profile not in the profile but profile hill select and we're gonna do steel deck and right here we see our profile that we drawn right here appearing in the sweep you just click finishing editing mode and voila there is our precious steel deck very nice so um well this is actually now the beam but a couple more steps that we are going to do we're going to add some material so here material right here we're going to click here on this dots then we're going to uh, make a new one then we're going to name it steel deck material but then we're going to leave it pay with finishing and materials click ok click ok once again and to look if it's done or right then you go to here to the family types and right here we have our material finishing steel deck category and then you can load a material that you uh, desire so as you see that's the next step that we did now the other step that we are going to do is of course bring the steel deck into the rivet model that we want so let's uh, load the structural framing into the project that we want by simply here load into project select the project with this blue checkbox click ok and voila we're gonna draw it like this and we will see in 3d and voila that's our beam i'm gonna reference it to the bottom and this will join and here this will join also and there we have it this is your structural framing beam family that you made but wait a minute do you remember guys that we have three segments and not one 
um, I will show you guys how to add the other tools and how to hide them in the project or uh, show them in a the project. Um, we only made one segment. Why? Because in tight spaces it's always handy to have only uh, one segment. So let's get back to the family and add two segments. So we will pick this model line and we will copy it upwards and go copy it downwards then again here in 3d you see the two lines we're gonna create a sweep pick path all right then select the profile again that we made finish all right now create another one sweep pick path select this line right here Okay, check and then again our profile finishing and voila this is the three parts but we are not finished you will see in a moment why so we're gonna select those two and we're gonna make a parameter right here on the visibility make a new one and then steel deck um three segments and we will uh, group it under graphics click ok ok and there you have it now we're gonna see if the parameter works so right here you see the checkbox we will make the window a little bit smaller and now we're gonna uncheck the box apply and you see they are lighter than the segment here so that means they are not visible and the family works we will leave it in check apply then again we're gonna save it first load into the project again the project that we want click ok and then and then uh, do not overwrite the existing version but also its parameters value so we click on this one and voila, nothing happens at first sight, but you will see it will change. So you select the beam, we go to edit type, then I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller. And I will check this box on, click apply and boom, <clears throat> there we have your tree. Um, three segments that you made like you see here now these are the segments that we are made Con consistent colors i'm gonna leave it on right here also apply and see this those are the three segments that we made now you guys i'm wondering if i copy it like this and I change it here and check it then they change both of them now you guys are thinking but what if I only want a beam system with one segment and another with three very simple you go to edit type then we're gonna duplicate it we're gonna name it uh, three 106 millimeter click OK then check it on apply okay and there we have it now we have a type with three segments and then a type with one segment so that's it guys <clears throat> that's how you make a structural beam for uh, structural framing uh, i hope you guys liked the video uh, subscribe like and share please it helps me out a lot and um, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.